Hello my friend, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have very interesting, I would say like quick, tricky, in the same way, relaxing question. You can easily see this question in the middle of the screen here. We have 15 plus 15 divided by 3 and plus 4. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. However, many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do that without a calculator, write your answer down into the comment section. Right here we have three options, option A, option B, option B. And of course, write your solution down into the comment section, it's like only two or three lines so you can easily write your solution and your quick answer down into the comment section and we will check of answers here in just few minutes so it will be really interesting because in the same way this is a very tricky question a lot of students make this common mistake okay so a lot of students may be saying okay mister we have basic addition division and we have answer addition so let's solve this question from left to right we don't have parentheses so let's do this so from left to right what do we have we have 15 plus 15 equal to equal to 30 the next thing we have this so let's rewrite it so division by 3 and plus 4 as a result what do we have once more from left to right so we have 30 divided by 3 equal to 10 and we have 10 plus 4 right here so equal to equal to 14 so a lot of students might be saying okay maybe 14 is the correct answer we have this this is our option b we solve it in a strict order from left to right we know this stuff from school from from the first or second grade so that's it this is our correct answer but i want to show i want to say a few really interesting things about this question because right here obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer right so if we do like the addition first we have one answer if we do like division first right here we have completely different answer and of course this third division addition sorry we have completely different answer and it's not good to solve this question in, in terms of like three different uh, different answers so right now i'm going to show you a really interesting part which is called order of operation so then after this thing which is called order of operation we will understand what is the correct order because right here we have we have addition we have division and we have once more addition so we need to order all of this stuff but in 95 percent of cases we will have maybe subtraction we will have multiplication we will have parentheses maybe we will have like power so we need to order all of this stuff we need to order we need to say what we need to do at first at second at third at a third step so right now let's look closely at that thing which is called order of operation extremely important math math part so this is our order of operation which is called pemdas order of operation so maybe a lot of students know about the thing which is called bodmas order of operation maybe it just depending on what country you're in for example bodmas mainly used in india and the uk pemdas this is our order of operation that i'm going to explain to you this is our order of operation in usa in canada in europe so this is our pemdas and to be honest the meaning is absolutely the same pemdas bodmas or different like variation is absolutely absolutely the same so i'm going to use pemdas but the meaning is absolutely the same because we are talking about the same order but different letters because in terms of pemdas we are talking about letters so each of these letters stand for something so for example and let's start with this left side because on the left side we have higher priority than rather than on the right side so we're talking about letter p letter p stands for parentheses we're talking about parentheses maybe this type of brackets maybe this type of this type of brackets we're talking about group and symbols so whenever we have expression with parentheses we need to evaluate this expression at first let's scan our question maybe we have parentheses in our question let's look at it i don't see any of those we don't have any parentheses maybe we can have right here parentheses we don't have any of those so we can actually skip this part we don't have we don't have parentheses so we don't need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses as a first step okay so after after this letter we are talking about letter e which stands for exponents and don't be scared about it because e stands for exponents but in the same way this is the same thing as a power so we're talking about for example 2 to the power 3 like 5 to the power 2 we're talking about the thing which is called power so right now let's scan where do we have powers in our question let's look at it maybe three square we don't have any of those for example if we have right here 15 square we need to evaluate this 15 square which is equal to 225 in our case we don't have parentheses uh, we don't have exponents we don't have power so we can actually skip this part okay let's move forward to the next step the next step is very tricky moment right now because this one group m stands for multiplication d stands for division but in the same way this is one common group okay one common group we're not talking about multiplication first and division second we're not talking about this we're talking about one group so multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance so if we have a mixture of multiplication or division so if we have for example two times three divided by four if we have this thing we need to start 
but with this multiplication because we're talking in a strict order from left to right but if we have like two divided by four times three we have division sign first from left to right so we need to do in this case we need to do uh, multiplication first because this comes first from left to right and in this case we have division multiplication so we need to do uh, division division first so this is few really important uh, tricks and right now let's scan where do we have in our question maybe we have like multiplication division part let's look at it where do we have it we have addition we're not interested yeah we have division so we have division at this point so we need to apply this division to side to both numbers on the this side and on on this side so our first step is to evaluate this expression 15 divided by 3 so let me just reject this multiplication part we don't have multiplication part we have only d so let me change my pen real quick we have only d so we have division so right now we need to first we need to, first of all we need to divide so division comes first from left to right so it means the D is before A, which A stands for addition, I'm going to say right now, and S stands for subtraction. But right now, if you look closely after parentheses, exponent, multiplication part, we have the first one, which comes first from comes first from left to right. We have we have D, division. So let's do this. Let's do this division from left to right. So as a result, we have 15 plus 15 divided by 3 equal to, uh, equal to 5, and we have plus plus 4. So as you can see, we complete this division part, which is extremely great right now. After division part, we have the last step, addition and subtraction. But to be honest, at this point, we don't need this order of operation because in 99% of cases, when you have like whenever you have expression with addition subtraction, you can easily solve it in your in your head, in your mind, because if this very basic expression, we have 15 plus 5 equal to 20 and we have 20 plus 4 equal to equal to 24 so what hints what moments we need to take from this from this question so this is a question without parentheses without exponents but come i'm going to say a few really interesting hints when you have a mixture of multiplication so whenever you have expression with uh, with the multiplication uh, division multiplication division addition and subtraction so whenever we have expression with these these elements so for example i can really uh, like create a real quick expression so for example two times 2 minus 5 divided by 3 minus 7 plus 8 times 4 and divided by 3 for example something like that so whenever we have expression whenever we have a mixture of multiplication division addition and subtraction from here we need to evaluate so let me change my pen real quick so we need to evaluate at first division multiplication make sure so this is our first step we need to find all multiplication division sign and after that we have addition and and subtraction okay so right now let's do this so first of all we need to evaluate we need to find all multiplication and division signs let's do this we have right here multiplication sign division sign we have right here multiplication division so after evaluating this expression so we can ac actually take it in our head with with imaginary brackets right here so whenever we evaluate this expression with these brackets we can easily finally solve this question with subtraction with subtraction and with addition so without any problems but the main trick uh, division multiplication is before addition and subtraction so that's why correct answer is 24 let's look closely at the beginning because in the beginning we said that correct answer it looks like 14 we say okay from left to right so we have right here 15 plus 15 30 this is a correct answer 14 but it's not a correct answer exactly to our question this is a correct answer only when we have parentheses right here so with parentheses you just look closely what we had in parentheses we need to start from this because parentheses has the highest priority this is our letter p these are this our letter p parentheses so we need to evaluate this expression inside parentheses at first because in terms of any order of operation parentheses has the highest priority in 99 percent of cases so as a result we have parentheses first we have 30 the next thing we have division before addition so everything is great so with parentheses I'm going to mention, I'm going to underline that with parentheses right here at this point, correct answer is correct answer is 14, which is extremely great because a lot of students might be saying 14 is a correct answer without parentheses. This is not how it works. So 14 is a correct answer according to our question with parentheses. In our question, as I said before, a correct answer. So let me just raise all of this stuff because I don't have enough space. So as I said before, we solve it right here so we can easily say it. Correct answer in our question is is 24 so right now let's write our correct answer we have 24 but what about option this is a very tricky moment right now because a lot of students might be saying okay we don't have 24 so it looks like maybe correct answer is like uh, 14 because we don't have 24 if you look close this 34 is not the same as 24 exactly this is a different constant 14 is not the same as 24 but what about this four factorial this looks like our last hope to solve this question 
So for factorial from school, it means that we have a product of 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4, which is equal to 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3, 6, 6 times 4, we have 24. So according to uh, our test, according to this uh, test, correct answer, it looks like 4 factorial, because we have 24, but this is according to test, according to our exactly like a question, correct answer is 24. And this is extremely great thing, extremely important moment right now, so you need to understand when you choose correct answer for factorial, you can easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question absolutely correct. When you say correct answer is 14, well, you need to review a little bit your basic math because because uh, 14 is a correct answer with parentheses, not uh, the answer to our question without parentheses. And of course, if you say correct answer is 34, you need to review a lot because this is a wrong mistake. And I don't know how is it possible that right here will be 20, uh, will be 34 as a correct answer. It's it's really weird moment to be honest. Okay, so as I said before, this is our solution to this question. This is our uh, our explanation. This is our PEMDAS. This is quick example to this question. Quick example, one more example, here is our answer, so division, multiplication before addition, subtraction, here is the key moment right now, you can easily see it, here is our PEMDAS, maybe you, you face with like um, expression with parentheses, with exponents, with multiplication, division, with all of the things, but then you need to evaluate it in a strict order from left to right. To be honest, this expression is not that hard because we have only division and addition, but maybe you will have like expression looks like that with parentheses, exponents, so then you need to like pay attention to this PEMDAS order of operation, which is extremely important nowadays. And as I said before, according to test, correct answer is 4 factorial, according to our question, correct answer is 24, uh, with parentheses, correct answer will be 14, because uh, maybe a lot of students try to solve it, they try to solve it from left to right, and they don't care about order of operation, well, 14 is a correct answer, but with parentheses, without parentheses, correct answer is 24, without, uh, without uh, if you look closely at this test, correct answer is is option C. And if you plug in this question on your calculator, just be careful because, for example, if you plug in uh, this question on your calculator right now with me, and you know, sometimes calculators work with problem as you type it in. So, for example, you plug in this 15 plus 15, you plug in it obviously from left to right without parentheses, yeah? And when you plug in it, sometimes happen that those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. So, for example, you plug in 15 plus 15 and the calculator say, okay, right here I have 30. But your calculator like that, I don't know what you have further, but further you have three division and addition. So it looks like you need to plug in the whole question from left to right. So from this side, from this side, let me change, for example, to green one. Okay, so from this side to this one. So plug in the whole question from left to right. And then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. Then a calculator say, okay, right here I have addition, right here I have division, I have addition. And 99% of cases, 99% of calculators works according to simplifying this question according to according to PEMDAS, PEMDAS, BODMAS, but according to this question, doesn't matter what order do you prefer, because in 99% of cases, correct answer will be will be 24, not 14, and not 34. So with my explanation to this question, I really hope you understand it, I really hope you, you learn something new, here once more you can see a solution, here once more you can see a few hints, few tricky moments to this question, I really hope you enjoy it, I really hope you learn something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes, I have like more than 200 challenges every day, so you can easily test your school knowledge, test your algebra skill, and your age doesn't matter right here, because maybe a lot of students watch my videos, a lot of a lot of people like with uh, 40 plus, 30 plus, 50 plus, it's a really great challenge for everyone to solve the, this type of question, and yeah, I hope you, I, I really hope you enjoy it. So wish you all the best in your life, take care of yourself, also thank you everyone for, for supporting my channel, for watching these videos, I really appreciate it. And I also appreciate when you leave a comment, when you write your solution, write your answer, write your response down into the comment section. It's really kind of you when you leave your response. I really appreciate it. So wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.